Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey and we are in, walking through the book of Deuteronomy uh, this week and I'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends and families and to subscribe to our channel to help us pray for us and help us in this ministry it's a, it's a challenge because English is my second language but uh, I try my best to communicate in the right way for you the Word of God. Today we're going to see a very interesting verse. Very interesting verse. We saw that Moses is uh, giving his uh, final speech or message to the people. People are ready to go to the Promised Land. Moses will not go with them. So he's preparing the best that he can. The people, when they got there, what they're going to do, how they're going to leave, and all that kind of thing. And, to, and now he calls the people. It's a very important, powerful text. It's in the chapter 30, verse 15. See, I set before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction. So he, he, he got to the point of, okay, this is the, is the altar call for the people. The altar call for the people. I want you to follow the Lord when you got there. I want you to start right now, not to start when you got there. I want you to make a decision. I want you to make a decision. I set before you life and death. I set before you life and death. Life and prosperity, death and destruction. Uh, uh, this is what I set before you. And I want you to make a decision for that. It's to follow the Lord. You're, you're going there. You're following the Lord all the way until now. You're about to enter in the promised land. And I want you to continue to follow. I want you to make a decision. To follow the Lord. We saw that some people, they would struggle there. Because, yeah, it's a promised land. It's a, everything is good. They're going to conquer people, kill them, remove them from the cities. The houses are ready. The vineyards are ready. Everything is ready, planted. So they're not going to need to start from the scratch. And they're going to think, well, we can do it by ourselves. We don't need God. And, uh, and, and, and Moses is asking them, to make a decision, to take a position. Hey, yes, we follow him until now and we're going to follow. Sometimes we need that in our life, in our personal life. And sometimes this happens in a, in a service, uh, in a communion Sunday, or in a during a message, the pastor. And it's, it's a renew of our commitment with the Lord. And we need that moment in our lives when we realize that well you know what I'm, I'm not being a good Christian and I'd like to renew my commitment with the Lord and we we should do this often in our lives to to renew our commitment I said Lord I still choose life and you in my life I want to follow you to obey you to serve you not only now not only today but the rest of my life it's very important that we make those decisions renew those decisions that we made so long time ago Say, Lord, I still, I still want to do that. I still want to do that. To follow you, to serve you, to obey you, to love you, to worship you. I still want to do that. So that is a challenge for each one of us. And I'd like to challenge you to do this today. This is our snack for today. God bless you.